shotgun. So we're in Baltimore and I'm very excited today because we're hanging out with Lexi, who is by far our biggest fan. I mean, she's posting stuff to Reddit for us all the time. I think she accounts for 50% of our views on YouTube. Today she watched us take a nap. And if that's not dedication, I don't know what is. So we're gonna do something that I think encapsulates what it means to be a great Redditor. Hi, we're here at the epicenter of everything Baltimore, the Hidden Peak Cat Club Strawberry Fields Cat Show. What do you think is the most exciting thing about the cat show? Well, I don't know yet, but I'm hoping the obstacle course. I've never run a cat obstacle course before, but I'm pretty sure I could. Are you ready to have the perfect day? Yes. Fantastic. Let's go inside. We all know that Reddit loves cats more than anything. And you might have to pretend that you love your wife or your new baby more than your cat, but we all know that's not true. Because let's face it, compared to Grumpy Cat, your adorable baby is a disgrace. At a cat show, they can smell an outsider, even over the smell of cat pee, which is quite strong. So we needed to blend in. I think this is definitely for me. Aaron, who is allergic to cats, is now wearing a cat sweatshirt. I can't breathe and my eyes are watering, but I'm comfortable. After getting into the proper attire, we met John, owner and trainer of the world champion, Possum. And Possum's not an actual possum that has a forked penis and pukes on itself. It's an adorable kitty. He's the number one cat in the world right now. He's like an Olympic gold medalist. I mean, that's where the standards he is right now. When you win these these competitions, these shows. What do you win? Like a ribbon or? Yeah, or... Just a rosette. Cat judging seems pretty intense, but like most pageants, I don't really get a feel for the pedigree until the swimsuit competition. That's gonna be hot, right, guys? What they're actually doing is when they have them up there, they're looking at their boning, their structure, the coat, okay. the whole thing. But you can't really tell the quality of a cat until you put them through agility which is basically American Gladiators for cats. Interested, she's focused, she's gonna do it. But she, just a little flick of an ear, she doesn't wanna do it anymore. Hey, mom. Lexi doesn't mom. know cats like I know cats. They call me the cat whisperer. Can your wheels go over that bar? That's me whispering all my deepest, darkest secrets to Cat. And Ziva is off, and it's up the steps, and over the hurdle, and through the tunnel. Through the tunnel. Yes, through the tunnel, and through the ring, and up, over, and through the ring one more time. Just go back through the ring, okay. Oh, not over to the chair. I'm not part of the course. I'm a wheelchair. Oh, okay, we'll move you. Over the hurdle, over the hurdle again. Oh, you just did it. Just. Just over the hurdle and through the tunnel and emerging like Andy Dufresne coming to freedom is Kiva and around the ring. Yes, and up the steps for a well-deserved victory nap. <laughs> nap time. Now this okay. is your winner's ribbon for having wow. completed the course. It's a banner day for me. This is a... Got a Aaron place. over there. Aaron is... Uh, How you feeling, he's Aaron? He's up a little. Oh, good. So Getting emotional about the cat show? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't, can't breathe. I'm so excited. <laughs> Aaron's trying to fake something called a cat allergy to get out of working. Only way to deal with it is to show him a complete lack of sympathy. The douchebag. Because we're a prepared film crew, we have decided not to get Aaron Benadryl. <laughs> you know, he's not getting the full experience if he's not close to death by the end of it. <laughs> We're gonna my girl him. <laughs> but Aaron knows how to exploit my worst fears. And as they say, what goes around comes around. Yeah. No. Well, she likes you. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She's just going to your shoulder. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. They're so vicious, their claws, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> Just because it looks like a, a gremlin, 
somewhat doesn't mean it's not an adorable kitty. And now that I've faced my fear, it's time to check in on Possum and see how our world champion winner of the world is winning the world. He's the best well, cat in the world. Every, how can he be fourth? Totally different. So. But I this think week you could do and this that week the judges happen to be blind. I think. <laughs> Possum gets fourth place. This is an outrage. Those judges must be Stevie Wonder, or Andrea Bocelli, and who's ever dating Kristen Stewart because they are blind. They are blind. The claws are coming out because I'm getting upset. This is off. Down. Down. It's a good kitty. Yeah, anyway, I was a little upset. What was it that you liked most about the cat show? Running the agility course was pretty fun. Um, I like my goodie bag. Some would say that facing the hairless cat, <laughs> I was the pussy of the group. But, you know, it was just a matter of getting to know that cat. I learned to love it. So, we've definitely had our ups and our downs at the cat show. But there's nobody I'd rather experience the cat world with than Lexi, because she's our biggest fan, and we were gonna hang out with her more, but then she had to go to the Dark Knight Rises for the second time. But that's besides the point. And you know what? I'm a fan of Lexi now, too. And a fan of hairless cats, as it turns out. Definitely Lexi more, though. More than hairless cats, because that's kind of like a, a ball sack of a cat. So, Lexi's great, though. <laughs>